Now for this third tutorial, we are going to add a layer mask to your picture layer. And what the layer mask does is it hides sections or pixels of the image, so that way my chin isn't larger than the Mona Lisa's chin. So to do that, go ahead in your layers palette, um, select your picture layer, make sure that's highlighted, and then come down to the bottom of your layers palette and you're going to choose this button. This is your add layer mask button. Single click that and this little white square uh, rectangle should show up to the right of your image. And what that is, is that's where the mask is going to live. We're going to use our paintbrush tool and our black paint to take away or hide the portions of your face that we don't need to see. Um, I recommend that you don't use a very large brush and that you use one of these blurry or feathered brushes so that way it gives a nice smooth edge to your picture rather than a harsh choppy edge um, that one of these brushes might do. So once you have your paintbrush selected and the black paint selected, you're going to go ahead and paint or hide the portions of your face that we want to hide because they don't really fit on your painting. Now, it looks like I have erased a little too much of my face. So if that happens, come over to your color pickers over here and use this swap button. It's that double arrow and it looks like it's bent. Single click that and now you should have white paint on top. What the white paint does is it brings back portion of your picture that you accidentally erased. So I'm just going to bring back that portion of my picture. Get it nice and smooth around the edges. All right. And bring back everything that you need. Okay. Now you can toggle back and forth between painting and picture and black and white um, pretty seamlessly. I'm also going to come up here and remove some of this part that was my hair. All right, so now once we have that completed, um, I want you to do a file save. So that way you can save your work. And then we're going to move on to our next step. All right, so what we're going to do is open up your color balance. Well, we'll do that in tutorial three. So go ahead and save your work and we'll move on to the next tutorial.